All right, this is Maelstrom, a ship game full of sailing. Yes, this game does not have a title screen. Um, full of ships. It also, wow. Most, uh, most, most matches don't start out like this. You're not <laughs> normally supposed to start next to another person, like ever, actually. But basically, mm -hmm, oh yeah, I'm kicking the shit out of him. I'm really good at this game. All that time I spent uh, playing Sid Meier's Pirates really paid off. Who knew that I could be a Battle Royale pro by playing Sid Meier's Pirates? Now see, yeah. <laughs> we're jumping right into it, I guess. Since we're jumping right into it, what he has done here is bored me, which is a very bad idea because... <laughs> I am very much stronger than him at close range. <laughs> yeah. His advantage is the big cannonballs that he shoots. Also, the further away... See, that's that's who I'm playing. Now, this game has three different races. There's humans, orcs, and dwarves. And each of the three races has a different type of ship. Or has three different types of ship, but they all share traits. Like, that was a dwarven ship. I'm in an orc ship. You can tell because it's being pulled by sharks. Yeah, I want to. I just want to just... take a moment to like really look at the fact that your ship is being pulled by two fucking what? What are they? Massive great white. They're, they're sharks, I don't or know. are they like orcas? No, they're they're sharks. Okay, they're definitely sharks. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, this is uh very fun. You have this map. Yeah, as you can see, you've got the map. The circle is retracting. Um, and there's 12 people in a game. Your goal is to kind of farm NPC ships. And when I say farm, I use that term loosely. I mean, you're usually going to kill two or three of them before... Farm in the same way that you have to collect a weapon or two in other Battle Royales. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> you and, and what you get out of that is, like, um, a boost to your speed your armor or your firepower sometimes they can give you like healing boons y you know it it's there's not a lot they can do they can't give the ships different weapons on the fly right um but each ship that you choose to play as does have pretty unique stuff going on like like this guy is particularly good at ramming yeah push I him into the fucking back. world yeah that's yep <laughs> goodbye <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fucking gone. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't want to do that because then you can't loot their corpses. Yeah. When yeah. a ship dies, they drop all of the power-ups they were carrying. So if somebody else has a lot of power-ups and you, like, swoop in, you can even swoop in and steal people's uh, kill power-ups. It's pretty funny. But that's still one less person to kill. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, oh, you're on fire now. Yeah, see, now, um, can, you, you can see, like, the, the little circles around my ship, right? Yeah. That's where, that's where my armor actually is. So, it, once armor is depleted, that's when you start taking hull damage. And, uh, hull damage is a lot harder. Armor basically regenerates whenever you're not in combat. Hull damage, you have to get, um, healing. Right. To repair. <clears throat> I think I, like, pull out some kind of fucking amazing shit on this one. Ah, see, there's the death zone. Now, the death zone is bad. No, I did this isn't the game where I pulled out the amazing shit. Um, I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever run into the death zone in any of these matches, but basically, if you stay out in that black, inky water for too long, a giant monster will just come up and eat you. Ah, good. Ah, oh, that's fun. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> that's one way to battle so, royale you know, it up. Exactly. So I have, you know, my, uh, I just got some golden experience. Now, here is where the part that might turn people off comes from. Uh, there's a, there is a quest system. It's very generous with this golden experience it gives you. But what you need the golden experience for is to upgrade each individual ship. Now, so far, in my experience, it is very good at making sure to match you with ships. Like, match everybody. Like, if, if you're playing a level 5 ship, everybody's going to have a level 5 ship in that game. Um, and it, it matches you, like, between each ship, but it's very grindy. Like, I, I, it would take too long to even, like, get to that point, but ships have, like, an extra unique ability, each one of them, and you have to get your ship to, like, level 10 to unlock that. But before level 10, 
you're never matched with anybody who has that unique ability. So nobody is ever going to be strictly stronger than you, right? So, okay. but it could potentially have like the world versus tanks problem, of, like balancing around a million different ships. Uh, not really. There's nine different ships. Okay. Um, they do plan to add another. This this game is in. It's not in early access, but it's in active development. So they they do plan to add another faction, which is goblins. Okay. Um, goblins. Now, now here I'm playing the dwarf ships. Um, what people? This is this is like the pre the staging. You know, right. you don't actually hurt anybody. But now what people don't realize about these dwarf ships is that they can go in both forward and reverse. So whereas my my orc ship, I wanted to just ram into people and kill their, their shit as hard as possible. Uh, dwarf ships can fire from all four angles. So what I normally do when I'm playing a dwarf ship is just make sure that I like rotate, like I'll basically turn myself in a circle and stay stationary by backing up and going forward. Yeah. That way I just get as much DPS off as possible. And I, I it's like very fun to play. The human ships are a little boring. They're just, regular boats like you would expect but I, I try and get a game in as each of the three of them so so right now I'll stay with someone the has to be the boring ship <clears throat> yeah 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 so um you you see I that you don't start out next to a person all the time because this is the second time it's happened oh no no that's that's an NPC ship I'm supposed to start next to one of those to give oh, me soon my, you will play as the goblins power up. yeah yeah the goblins aren't out yet but the goblins. But they are NPCs. Like, they are now. NPC ships, yeah. <clears throat> goblins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, I just, instead of a million cannonballs, dwarves just get bigger cannonballs the more. Um, there is There are a couple mechanics that I really haven't, like, talked about at all, but that's because the game brushes over them until you're better at it, too. Yeah. Um, there's crew and sails. Uh, sails aren't really relevant for dwarf ships, but the crew increases the damage of your guns, the reload speed of your guns, the speed at which you can change your speeds, and they can be killed by flak guns. So yes, if you've ever played a, a pirate ship game before, there is the standard flak cannon and sail killing cannon as well on all of the ships. I love how all of these like <clears throat> subgenres of games have their own like logic to them. like. For a spaceship game, like, uh, it's almost like, all right, you have energy weapons. Energy weapons deplete shields. After you're done with the energy weapons, switch <laughs> to the kinetic weapon to take down their armor. Uh -huh, yeah, and, and every pirate ship game is like, all right, you have a weapon that hurts their sails. After you're done taking down their sails, then you can go in for the kill. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, see, now dwarf ships don't have sails, as you can see, so it's actually literally worthless to shoot them with chain shot. But... Uh, their engines are completely disabled if they run out of crew. So, you know. They have to steamboat it um, harder. Yeah, exactly. But um, you, you probably noticed when I was fighting that other guy, he was a dwarf ship, and he clearly had no idea how to play. He was circling around me. E even though he was a dwarf himself, he didn't understand that circling around me would only make me shoot him faster. <laughs> yeah, right. Because mm -hmm. as you can... I don't know if this was obvious, but it probably was. Each cannon set reloads individually. Yeah. So just in case that wasn't obvious, like... Oh, uh... That's question. why you want to circle How do you, it. Are, are you switching cannons by pressing a button and moving your mouse? No, uh, they... whichever, just whichever direction you are looking is where your cannon is going. To oh, that's neat. Yeah, you see that yeah, little, uh, trident neat. thing? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, was, also I, was doing, yeah I was just... I, I noticed you were switching, like, the cannons. I just didn't know if you were, like doing it on if it was reacting to the mouse movement changes or like you were just pressing a button really fast yeah because yeah, like i could no, see that yeah it's reacting to mouse movement changes okay um you can also see that i like intentionally let him shoot at like an area that i don't want to get hit or, or that i don't intend to be hit very often on um, but I did make a mistake here in letting him. And now he me. is boarding you, and like yeah, uh, your do, ships are bad, are like very bad against boarding. But now he's depleted my front armor, but that's okay because I have guns on all of the. Uh, Rip. Yep. There, there. That thing is again. Recorded this too long ago, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> forgot what happened. It's okay. So uh, I, I just assume I'm winning all the time because that's much more healthy for my psyche. That's what my therapist tells me. Um. <laughs> 
understand. That's why you're that so bad joke. at League of Legends. No, I'm just kidding. Oh man. <laughs> nah, dude, it's okay. totally cool. We're winning. Dude, our dude, dude, our core is exposed. Nah, man. We already won. <laughs> we won by. I, it's holy shit! You're winning right. Winning was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> yeah. Winning was the was the endless creep wave that just kept going along the way. Winning was the friends we made along the way, like that guy who was in top lane and yelling at me for three straight hours. <laughs> and then continued after the game was over. Um, now this game does have a uh, team mode as well. So here I'm playing an orc ship that is like a very fast kind of interceptor type ship. Mm -hmm. It gets a bonus to boarding. But you better be damn sure you're gonna kill the thing because you will die if you stay still for too long. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> um, Someone needs the bonus. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> um, as opposed to the other ship that I was playing that was an orc ship, it, it, it is good at ramming into stuff. This one's better at ramming into stuff than human or dwarf ships, but not as good as that other, uh, that other ship. Yeah. So like they they all kind of have their own little specialty. Like that uh, guy's ship was named the Booty Grabber. <laughs> oh God, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, Humber yeah. That's Dew that's and you his can. Booty uh, grabber. Ah, see, here is where I like to do the thing that I call back from your mic a little bit. being an ass clown. Do you see how many people are just creeping around here? Why bother killing people? when I could just fight this guy and fuck around with him and wait for them to kill each other. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I remember playing Chivalry, yeah. Actually, this one I think, I think I'm think i doing um, badly because I'm trying really hard to uh, use my boarding thing, my boarding powers. Yeah. This but is that's where okay. you learn. Huh? You're getting them, though. This is where you learn. Yeah. Oh, he decided to board you, and that was a dumb idea. No, no, I, I, I boarded oh, okay. him. You can only board from the sides, even as... See, now that he's completely out of crew... He just can't move. He apparently... Yeah. Like, he can... He looks like he can move a little bit, but... I mean... Now I can just sit there and kill him. Although, I feel like I would have killed him faster if I had just, like, stripped through his armor. The way that I am doing now. Maybe. <laughs> but he couldn't fight back at do you, all. So, do you like, heal when you kill them? It's a or? lot safer. <clears throat> Um, so when you kill another player, they drop a repair power up, which will repair you until you get hit again. Okay. Um, and then your your armor slowly repairs out of combat. So if that happens, so you kind of want to just, you're... like, take off after killing someone. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Um, y it can get pretty OP in the middle of a fight, though. I, I have definitely won fights because I killed one guy, picked up a repair power up, and then, like, boosted out of the way of some cannons to let myself heal up a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But, like, th th this is one of those fast and methodical ships. Like, you've got to make a surgical strike here or else you're just gonna... What's the blue bar? Yeah. The, the blue bar is your sails. Okay. And then the red bar is your crew. If your crew goes below that, that white line, you're, um, like, severely crippled, basically. Gotcha. But until that white... Um, also, the less crew you have, the more damage boarding does. Because boarding does damage to your hull, like, through armor. Mm. So that's why I keep, like, trying to take his uh, crew away. Also, like you said about the dwarf ships. Yeah, the dwarf ships are very very bad with They're like group. both trying um, to kill you and they're not trying to kill each other. What's up with that? I don't know. See like I'm PCs. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> oh. Hey, a player. Get him. <laughs> but see, I'm like so goddamn fast and I've uh-oh. <laughs> well, you guys might get to see the monster eat somebody after all. <laughs> okay, never mind. <clears throat> um but yeah, see the problem is like I've taken all this hull damage. If it were just armor damage, it'd be one thing. But I basically have to kill somebody, You're or only, else you only I have will... 69 health. Yeah, exactly. I only have 69 health. So, so without fun. without picking up a repair power up, I'm not gonna heal much like at all. Well, maybe it heals very slowly. I'd never noticed that. But you can see that it's healing so slowly that they're like. It looks like it has like a cap on it. Oh, like, here we go. <laughs> Zoom, steal <his> stuff. <laughs> 
I, you know, it's funny because I wasn't, oh, I wasn't really stealing his stuff. Aw. Oh. Oh. I wasn't really stealing his power up so much as, uh, at this time of the recording, it was Halloween and there are, like, you might have seen pumpkins dropping in the water. Yeah. They have a Halloween event where you have to, like, collect a certain number of pumpkins. And so I actually stole that player's pumpkins that he was doing for his overarching quest. <laughs> rude. <laughs> yeah, very rude. Um, I think I, I think I just go again with the, uh, the ramming ship, but... Um, that's another thing. So, outside of the game, there's, um... Outside of the game proper, there's, you know, the, the, like quest system which they just reworked and it gives you quite a substantial amount of golden experience and unlike a lot of these games where the golden experience will like you'll get like three quests a day they just reworked it so that you have infinite quests per day and the first five you complete give you bonuses okay so like you can keep playing and completing quests and getting gold at an accelerated rate because all the gold you pick up also goes into your like gold pool out of the game yeah <clears throat> um so is the outside like uh progression how is that is it the the outside progression it doesn't it doesn't feel egregious i've never felt like somebody has has more stuff than i do because i think they they very carefully balance that yeah so basically I you start... a lot of it looks like it does come down to skill which is you know it, yeah i i like it when progression systems are like all right you, you, you get this, and this will maybe help you out, but in the end, if this guy is better than you, you will die to him. Right. Also, the progression system doesn't really help you out that much. Like, oh, okay. So, so from levels 1 to 5, right? At level 1, you just have your guns. At level 2, you have your guns and a sail modifier, and then a gun, a sail modifier, and an armor modifier, and then a gun, sail, armor, and turn rate modifier, you know. So they all progress similarly, and then once you hit level 5 you start unlocking alternatives for each of those slots. So between levels 5 and 10, people can be matched freely. Um, because at level 10, you unlock the, the unique ability. And and then you will only be matched with people level 10 and above. Because I think, I think 10 is the maximum that a ship can go. Now, are those levels per boat or for, or like account wide? They're per boat. So... Okay. But you also do have a, a account level, which will unlock you other stuff, I believe. I think the account level unlocks you, like, bonus gold and bonus skins, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I really, really enjoy Maelstrom. If you kind of like the, the Battle Royale format of, of a bunch of people, you know, the Battle Royale format of the actual definition of a Battle Royale, where a bunch of people are in an arena and they fight. Yeah. That's what this is. It is strictly speaking a battle royale, but it's 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 a ship combat game first and foremost. Right. Yeah. The battle royale is just an excuse to have ship combat. It could just it's as just, easily it's just be a marketing market. ploy. Also, I do believe they're supposed to be coming out with a story mode. Oh, neat. Later on, so like it it's not just battle royale. I think, I think it. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the details. We definitely should do research, but uh. <laughs> But uh, I have forgotten, because I read this somewhere. They uh, had, like, some sort of crowdfunding campaign or maybe, like, say, like, like selling skins or something, selling in-game merch campaign. And because they sold enough, they intend to go forward with a story mode and a new race, which is the Goblins. Oh, and, so it's and, like know, an it must have been a Kickstarter. Oh, so, oh wait. Yeah. It's, so it wasn't an in-game kick... Like, it wasn't an in-game crowdsource thing? It was an out-game? I, I I think I feel like it was a Kickstarter, but I could okay. be wrong. It might have been an in-game crowdsourcing thing well, too. Either way, though, uh, um, I mean this game is free to play, so yeah, the game is yeah. free to play, and and yes, and they do sell you gold and experience and stuff. But like I said, the the like why why would you buy gold and experience? I don't want to tell you not to do it if you intend to support the developers or whatever. But it just it doesn't. It, but as, from not, like a gameplay worth, standpoint, yeah, it's not worth doing because you don't. You don't get any advantage. You don't. There, there are skins you can I buy guess too. Maybe so that, that's that's probably their primary. I skill guess maybe thing. the idea is more that like, you like as you level up, you get more options of things to change up the game. I guess, and so if yeah, you're that's in true. the game deeper, then you have more options. But if uh, if you yeah, don't know how to play the game good. because you <laughs> skipped a bunch, then it seems also like a problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. 
Oh, look at this guy. Here we go. Oh, oh, wow. you got him. oh yeah. Um, so those fog things are like stealth fields. Line of sight plays a very important role in this game because as soon as you lose line of sight, like, like the health bar disappears, the the everything disappears. You can't shoot it. You can't keep track of him. You don't know where he's gonna pop out next. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think that I I ended on this one on purpose because <laughs> I'm just being a total fucker. Did you see me <laughs> yeah. steal that guy's hard-earned kills? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm like, I think I wind up going. It was either this one or just a game that I played afterwards. But I, I wind up like killing like four people at the end here. I'm pretty sure it's this one based on how this is going. It's one of the benefits like... of being a super fast ship. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you can name your ship. To be the SS uh, I, butthole if you wanted. I don't think you can name your ship. I think that that's a. Uh, I think. That's oh, that that was just a ra the that's, man just randomly no, generated booty that, grabber. No, that was like a title that you can earn by oh. grabbing enough booty. Oh. <laughs> well, now I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping you could. Maybe they will add name naming your ship later. And then this fucker comes and does the exact same thing I just did. Mm -hmm. And then but he's he grabs dwarves, so he gets boarded. Yeah, no, he got- he boarded me. Oh. Um, but thankfully, the guy that's out there was shooting at me. If I kill this guy, I'm gonna get the repair pack, and then I'm gonna be able to kill the other guy. Oh, oh no! no! That's the third fucking game in a row where I think I'm hot shit and I wasn't! <laughs> hey man, you were up on some pretty hot shit there for like five minutes. Yeah. And you did blow up, but so did he. Yeah, I, we blew each other up. So yeah, Maelstrom, fun game. There, there's a little bit more mechanics that I could go into, but it's it's really not worth it. Like there are, like people that you can get out of like a gacha system that you get. It's like they give you like four percent more gun damage and minus speed or something, you know, stuff like that. So you can change it up that way too. Right. Um, but it's 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 not a significant part of the game, I feel. <laughs> well, okay. That's Maelstrom. Uh leave a like, comment on Dawson's excellent ship skills or something. Or how bad he is. Oh, how, yeah, however good, you feel good, like going. Good at video games. I only am bad because I am recording. I choke under pressure. Yeah, uh, a likely story, okay. <laughs> uh Ring that bell if you want to say first in the comments, because we know you do. Mm -hmm. uh, and subscribe if you want to see more of whatever this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Join our Discord, we have a Patreon, and yeah. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you guys next time, and remember, as always... Stay beautiful.